Hallelujah. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, praise ye the Lord this morning. Awesome God, wonderful God, mighty God that we serve. We thank you and praise you for your love this morning. Thank you and praise you for this gift of life this morning. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, Miss Moultrie. Good to see you this morning. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you this morning, Father. We praise you. We love you. We lift you up. We give you all the glory. Give you all of the honor. Hallelujah. Give you all of the praise. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you this morning. Good morning, Miss Cave. Good morning, Kiki Moore. Good to see y'all this morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you for he is an awesome God. He is a wonderful God. He is a loving God. Good morning, Miss Sample. Good to see you this morning. Hallelujah. Good morning, Brother Rashford. Good to see you this morning. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you. Love you. Lift you up this morning. Good morning, Mrs. Moore. Hallelujah. Yes, thank the Lord for he is good. He is awesome. Hallelujah. The Lord is so kind, full of wisdom. He is amazing. Good morning, Auntie with me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in him. Psalm 117. Oh, praise the Lord, all ye peoples. Praise him, all ye. Oh, praise the Lord, all ye peoples. Praise him, all ye. Praise the Lord, all ye nations. I'm sorry. Eyes are off. Praise him, all ye people. For his merciful kindness is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endured forever. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise you this morning. Wonderful and awesome God that you are. There is none like our God in all this earth. He sits high and looks low. Yes, he loves us. He cares for us. He is a wonderful God. He is a mighty God. He is an awesome God. And we just thank him and praise him for this day. Thank him for waking us up this morning. Psalm 121. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. We love you, Lord. We praise you. We lift you up this morning. Hallelujah. Going backwards this morning. Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were radiant, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. O oh, fear or oh, worship the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no one to them that fear or worship him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, listen unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desires life and love in many days that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. Hallelujah. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. 
The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. I love that. I'm going to read that verse again. Verse 17, one more time. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a humble spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Hallelujah. I'm going to read that one more time. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be condemned, desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be condemned, shall be desolate. Father God, we come this morning thanking you and praising you, lifting you up. Lord, we come to give you glory and honor. We come esteeming you high. You are an awesome God and a wonderful God, a loving and a kind God. You are a just and an amazing God. Father God, we thank you for all that you've done and all that you continue to do. Father, we thank you for waking us up this morning. We thank you for giving us eyes to see, ears to hear, mouth to speak. Lord God, we thank you this morning for your protection, for your angels who watched over us last night. While we slept or while we worked, Lord God, we just thank you and praise you. Thank you for your angels that surround us to protect us and keep us today. Lord, we thank you that no evil will befall us, neither shall any play come now dwelling because of you God you are God you are mighty God and we are the righteousness of almighty God father this morning we thank you Thank you for your manifold blessing. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your goodness that keeps us and deliver us. Lord God, we thank you that even though you sit high, you look low. We thank you for new mercies and new compassion this day. Lord God, we thank you and praise you this morning because you are the Lord and you change not. You remain the same as yesterday, today, and forevermore. And you're the same God to us that you were to grandmama and granddaddy, that you were to Abraham. Isaac and Jacob. Father, you're the same God today that sat on the cross. When Jesus was on the cross, you're the same God. As we go through trials and tribulation, you're sitting in the same spot. And Father, we thank you and praise you because you will never leave us nor forsake us. You are a great provider. You are a great father. You are an amazing God. You are our shield and our buckler, our strong tower. You are refuge. And Father, we thank you that in times of trouble you are right there to keep us and help us. Father we thank you that many are the afflictions of the righteous but you will deliver us out of them all. We thank you Father that even though we go through persecution we're not destroyed. We go through fire we're not destroyed. We go through water we're not destroyed but God we thank you. We thank you for your son Jesus Christ who died for us and declared us the righteousness of God and that we're seated in him next to you hallelujah on your throne but father we thank you that we have a comforter and a helper a strengthener and intercessor we have our advocate a counselor which is the holy ghost the holy spirit your presence that's in us and upon us your presence that give us power might ability and authority father god we just thank you and praise you this wednesday morning we give you praise honor and glory in jesus name lift to him up. Hallelujah. Thank him this morning. He is an awesome God. He is a wonderful God. He's a loving God. He's a just God. I don't care what it is you're dealing with. Give it to God. Listen to God. Follow God. Let God be your God. Let God tell you how to do it. Hallelujah. Because the steps of a good man are ordered of the Lord. God already knows the plan. He already knows the solution. God has already worked it out. Hallelujah. Let his word, let His the words he speak to you be a lamp and a light to your path. Hallelujah. We just thank him and praise him. We just love him this morning. We lift him up today. Yes, awesome God, wonderful God. And I thank God for each and every one of you this morning. I thank God for keeping you and watching over you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you this morning, oh Heavenly Father. Father, I thank you this morning for watching over my brothers and sisters who are standing with me now in prayer. I thank you for keeping them and guiding them and directing them. 
I thank you, O oh Heavenly Father, that you, hallelujah, yes, Father, you are the one to protect us. Father, I thank you for giving us peace in the midst of trouble. Father God, I thank you for the calm delight that you have provided to each and every one of us. Father, I thank you right now, Heavenly Father, yes, that as we stand on your word, as we stand praying and talking and crying out to you, that you hear us and you answer us. And Father, thank you that no good thing with you will hold from us. Father God, I thank you right now for those that may be feeling sick in their bodies or their emotions, their mind, their spirit, that you have already healed them. I thank you, Father, for those who have a need right now, that you have already supplied all their need according to your riches and glory. Father God, I thank you and praise you right now that what you call for in their lives is already established. Father God, I thank you for the plans. I thank you for the resources. I thank you, Father, for the favor that's on us and around us. Lord God, I thank you this morning that while we're crying out, you yet hear, you've already answered because you're not a man that you shall lie, neither the son of man that you shall repent. If you said it, you're going to do it. You, If you spoke it, you're going to bring it to pass. Father God, I thank you that you are the Lord and you change not. Father, I thank you and praise you this morning. Yes, Father, that you give them the desires of their heart as they delight themselves in you and your word and doing your will and your good pleasure. Father, I thank you right now for bringing us out into a wealthy place after we go through trials and tribulations. Thank you for crowning us with glory and honor. Thank you right now that the world see see Jesus Christ through us, who's in us and upon us. And Father, we just thank you and praise you for who you are and whose we are. In Jesus' name, let's give God some praise this Wednesday morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So good to see y'all today. Hallelujah. So good to see you today. Hallelujah. We just thank you and praise you right now. Let me read a scripture for you. Hallelujah. And this is uh, coming from Proverbs 16, 9. It says, a man's heart divides his way, but the Lord directed his steps. Hallelujah. It says, a man's heart, your mind will come up with a plan. But when you're trusting God, he'll direct your steps. Hallelujah. And we got to learn that. We got to learn to trust God and trust what his spirit is speaking to us. We ain't got to learn it. We already know. We just need to follow it. We just need to follow what the Lord is telling us to do. Hallelujah. Where the Lord is telling us to go. So just know that. Just know that. Hallelujah. Yes, come up with a plan. Have a plan. But just be open to change with your plan. So that God's plan will always prevail. His purposes will always prevail. Hallelujah. Praise you the Lord. Praise you the Lord. Good morning, everybody. So good to see y'all today. Hallelujah. We just praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm going to say this now and I'm going to say this later. Just know that effective January 1st, we will no longer be broadcasting on Penny Hill Covenant Christian Center. We'll be broadcasting on our new Facebook Live group page, Uplift Church 429. All right, this is the last week for Penny Hill Covenant Christian Center. We're, we're doing a name change to Uplift Church 429. So please, please, that's going to be on YouTube. It's on Facebook. Go there, like, follow the page, share it, let other people know. Hey, but this is what we'll be doing Monday morning, Sunday morning for church, Uplift Church 429. Praise the Lord. All right, let's do some confessions this morning. It's so good to see all of y'all. Praise you, the Lord. Thank y'all for inviting others to this prayer this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Let's let's let, let's start with this image. Oh, I thought it was raining outside. Sound like I heard some rain. Thank you, Miss Holland. All right, all right. Say this after me. Say, Father, I declare that I was formed. I was created. I was fashioned. In your image, after your likeness, after your kind, you put all things under my feet. You gave me to be the head and not the tail, above only and never beneath. I am the lender and not the borrower. I rule, I reign, I dominate in my life as a king. Through the anointed one and his anointing, 
my God has blessed me, made my name great, and I am blessed to be a blessing. I want us to put our name right there. Instead of saying me, say your name. I'm going to say my name, but you say your name. Hallelujah. Let's talk to selves this morning. Say, my God has blessed James, made James great, and James is blessed to be a blessing. I am a believer and not a doubter. I am a believer and not a doubter. I am a believer and not a doubter. My God has perfected that which concerns me and made every crooked place in my life straight. This is my receiving day. This is my day of breakthrough. This is my day of healing. This is my day of anointing. I am anointed and appointed for this time, for this day, for this season. Jesus came so that I can have life, live in faith, live in fullness, live in favor, live in victory every day and have life more abundantly. My head is anointed with all from the Lord and my cup runneth over in Jesus name. Let's give God some praise this morning. <laughs> praise him, praise him, praise him. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, God has made your name great. God has made you great. God has blessed you. Hallelujah. And you got to believe it. Hallelujah. You got to believe. You got to receive that in your spirit that God has blessed you and made your name great and you are blessed to be a blessing. You got to believe and receive in your spirit. Hallelujah. That he made you the head and not the tail. He did not make you the back end. He made you the front end. He didn't put you beneath his feet. He put you above. Hallelujah. So you got to believe and receive it this morning. Hallelujah. Yes, that what God has called you to, God is going to bring you through it. God has called you into greatness, but we must go through the process to get that greatness. Hallelujah. He's bringing you out. He's bringing you through, child of God. And don't you forget that. Don't, don't let nobody tell you anything different because God is still God. He's still sitting on the throne. He's still in the blessing business, the saving business, the healing business, the prosperity business, the deliverance business. I don't care. Whatever you need, go to God with it. Hallelujah. And then respond in obedience. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say this after me. I am beautiful. I am bold. I am courageous. I am determined. I am victorious. I am unstoppable. I am unshakable. I am unmovable. I am unbreakable. I am love. I am gifted. I am loving. I am talented. I am amazing. I am anointed. I am blessed. I am empowered. I am prosperous. I am successful. I am complete. I am whole. I am healed. I am forgiven. I am forgiving. I am grateful. I am humble. I am thankful. I am generous. I am compassionate. I am nice. I am kind. I am strong. I am capable. I am skillful. I am well able. I am graceful. I am divinely favored. I am chosen. I am royalty. I am different. I am holy. I am sanctified. I am wonderful. I am a new creature created in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away and all things are become new. Greater is the spirit of God that's in me than any spirit that's in this world. 
I declare. I am God's handiwork. I am God's masterpiece. In Jesus' name, give God some praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are a blessed child of God. You are beautiful. Listen. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like uh, David said when he called for the Ephraim, he encouraged himself in the Lord. He didn't wait for nobody to come from those who was upset with him to encourage him. David encouraged himself in the Lord. Listen, if don't nobody else tell you, hey, thank you, tell yourself thank you. Tell yourself you appreciate you. If don't nobody else tell you I love you, say it to yourself. Say I love you. Say self. I love you. See, you got to encourage yourself. You got to speak to yourself. You got to build yourself up. Hallelujah. And remember, your happiness is not based on other people. Your happiness is not based on other things. Your happiness is based on what's happening to you. That's why joy is better than happiness because joy is based on your relationship with the Lord. And knowing no matter what the situation is, you can have joy. You can have joy in the death in, 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 in the time of death. You can have joy in the midst of trouble. Why? Because you know God got you. You know God gonna comfort you. He gonna strengthen you. He gonna keep you. But however. If you depending on other people to make you happy, get out of that. Change that. Make yourself happy. Your happiness is based on what's happening to you. If good things are happening, you will be happy. Bad things happening, you will be unhappy. You'll be mad. You'll be frustrated. But when you got the joy of the Lord, and the joy of the Lord is your strength, don't matter about what's happening because your eyes look to the hills for which cometh your help. You know that God got you. You know that God is keeping you. You know that God will never leave you nor forsake you. You know that if God brought you out before, that he gonna bring you out again. And that gives you a reason to clap your hands and to tell the Lord thank you and to shout hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you this morning. Praise you the Lord. Hallelujah. So, so get you some joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get you some joy. Throw on some music later on. Do you some dancing. And just let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Just tell the Lord thank you. Hallelujah. Praise you the Lord. Praise you the Lord. Pick yourself up. Hallelujah. God will pick you up out the miry clay. But don't go get back in the mud again. Hallelujah. Don't, don't go get back in the pit again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let go of sorrow. Let, let it go. Hallelujah. Thank you. The Lord wants you to have a smile on your face and join your heart. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on. Come on. Let's do this favor confession. Y'all know I love me some favor. Hallelujah. Yes, favor. Because when you run out of money, favor shows up. Hallelujah. Favor shows up. Favor, favor does something money can't do. Uh, favor will open a door for you that money can't take you through. And people just wonder, how, how in the world did you do it? How did you get there? How did you meet them? It's the favor of the Lord. They saw your name. You didn't see theirs. And, 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 and the spirit just spoke to them and said, that's a person you need to meet, need to talk to. Hallelujah. So come on, come on, come on. Let's do this favor confession. Say this. Say, Father. I boldly declare that your grace, unearned, undeserved, favor, your supernatural, power, ability, authority surrounds my life as a shield. I declare that I have the favor of God when I get up and when I lay down, when I go out and when I come in. I have favor, good success, and a good understanding in the sight of God and man. My God has raised up people to use their favor, power, resources, might, ability, assets, authority, influence, intelligence, inheritance, strength, money, to help me, to bless me, to do good to me. 
Let's say that again. My God has raised up people to use their favor, power, resources, might, ability, authority, assets, influence, inheritance, intelligence, strength, money to help me, to bless me, to do good to me. I declare that my God has raised me up to use my favor, power, resources, might, ability, assets, authority, influence, inheritance, intelligence, strength, money to help someone, to bless someone, to do good to someone. I declare the favor of God is causing rules, laws, regulations, and ordinances to be changed, created, modified, to help me, to bless me, to do good to me. I am Abraham's seed, and the favor of Abraham is on my life. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me. Running me down and overtaking me. Favor is attracted to me. Looking for me. Working for me. Running me down and overtaking me. One more time. Favor is attracted to me. Looking for me. Working for me. Running me down and overtaking me. Every time I turn around, God's favor. Is blessing me. Turn around one time. Say this after me. Say God's favor. Is opening doors. That no man. No woman. No child. No machine. Can open. And my God. Has closed doors. That no one. Can open. Open doors. No one. Can close. Let's reach up and pull down that favor. I'm going to use both my hands. I'm going to pull down favor for me and for you this morning. Hallelujah. Say this after me. Say, Father, I touch the hem of your garment. I pull down favor from the north, south, east, and west in Jesus' name. Pull down that favor this morning. Woo! Hallelujah. Listen, it's nothing but the favor of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't care where you go, what it looks like. Know that God's favor is working for you. Hallelujah. Trust and believe. Just pull down that favor right now in the name of Jesus. You declare favor over your life. Hallelujah. You declare favor on your job. You declare that you blessed going out and blessed coming in. That you have favor, favor, favor. Hallelujah. You have a good understanding, good success. Listen, when you go into a situation, when you filling out that application, pray first. Ask God to guide your steps and ask God to direct your application to the one who will favor you. Ask God to direct that application to the one, hallelujah, who's going to say yes in spite of, hallelujah. I don't care what it is, that promotion on the job, you declare that you got favor. You declare that you get the raise. You declare that God has opened the door for your business. You declare that the favor of God all over your life. You declare that you are walking in the overflow and it's all around you right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Declare right now. Hallelujah. I don't care what it is. You go on the car lot. You declare the favor of God is working for you right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You're trying to get that new home. You declare the favor of God is working for you right now in the name of Jesus. And you to take the spirit of God with you. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. You want to get closer to God? Declare you got favor with God and your relationship is increasing with him for all things. And Father, I just declare the favor of God all over your children this morning, this day and every day. I declare your promises to us a yes and amen. Father, I thank you. Not only are you giving us breakthrough, but we're breaking out. We're breaking out from oppression and depression. We're breaking out from sickness and disease. We're breaking out from low to bar, low self-esteem, negative self-worth, negative thinking. Father God, we thank you right now. Oh, Heavenly Father, yes, that you're doing a new thing in our life. And God, we thank you right now for the transition to a new place. We thank you for the transition to a new way of thinking, a new way of talking, a new way of speaking, a new way of living. Father God, we thank you for the abundantly blessed life. Hallelujah. We thank you and praise you right now that the devil is under our feet. We thank you and praise you right now that your favor, peace and favor rest upon us. Lord God, we just thank you and praise you this morning. In Jesus name, I give him praise. Hallelujah. Yes, every generational curse is broken over your life. I declare right now that you are a child of the Most High God and nothing or no one can hold you back from what God said he going to do in your life. If God called you through it, he going to bring you he going to bring you through it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to understand that you walking with the Most High God. You got to understand that nothing or no one can stop you. What God has said he going to do, he going to do it. What God is purposing in your life, he's going to bring it to pass. Don't worry about what hasn't happened. You keep focusing on God. You keep trusting in God. You keep working that business. You keep working, hallelujah, that job. You let the joy of the Lord be your strength. You let God direct your path. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I'm going to read my devotional from today. I'm just going to read the scripture. <clears throat> hallelujah. Praise you, the Lord. Praise you, the Lord. From Proverbs 21, 21. Uh, Pastor Sabrina, can you bring my phone, please? Sabrina, can you bring my... It's right here. It's on the countertop. Because I want to read it from another translation, too. I'm, I'm going to read Proverbs 21, 21. Hallelujah. And, and I'm going to read it first from the um, King James Version of, of the Bible. And then I'm going to read it from the Passion Translation. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Lord. And it reads like this. It says, He that followeth after righteousness and mercy... Y'all know that, that word mercy means unfailing love. Finding life, righteousness, and honor. Hallelujah. Now, let me read that from the Passion Translation of the Bible. I like what the Passion Translation says, how the Passion Translation puts it. It puts it like this. It says, the lovers of God who chase after righteousness will find all their dreams come true. An abundant life drenched with favor and a fountain that overflows with satisfaction. You see that? The lovers of God. We got to be lovers of God. He said, the lovers of God who chase after righteousness, who chase after God's way of doing things, who seeking God's way of doing things. How did God do things? God do things with love. He do, does things with excellence. He does things to please. He does things where he's never seeking to destroy, but to build up, to encourage, to uplift, to motivate. Hallelujah. Will find all their dreams come true. Hallelujah. I love that. Your dreams going to come true because you're chasing after God and righteousness. He said an abundant life. That sounds like the overflow to me. That sounds like a blessed life. Drench with favor. Now y'all know what it means to be drenched. Think of it like this. You standing outside. There's a big puddle of water. And somebody just happened to ride through that water real fast. All of a sudden, you're drenched, you're soaking wet. That's what it's saying. We're going to be soaking wet with favor. God's favor, not just any kind of favor, not man's favor, but God's favor. And a fountain. That overflows with satisfaction. That means you're going to be happy. That means you're going to be, you ain't going to have no need or no want because of what God is doing in your life. So understand that. Understand 
that God wants to give you, wants you to have a blessed life, an abundant life, a life overflowing with his goodness. Not with the world's goodness now. Because cars break down. Houses fall apart. But the peace of God standing forever. The love of God standing forever. The favor of God reigns forever. Hallelujah. See, when you don't have the money to get the car fixed, you're mad. But when God blesses your life completely, you get the car fixed like it ain't nothing. You find favor, somebody fix the car because of the favor of God that's on your life. So seek God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That's what the scripture says in Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek God's way of doing things. Seek, God, seek God's way of what he wants to do in your life. Not your children's lives, not your spouse's life, but your life. He says, seek ye, God, seek ye the kingdom of God and his way of doing things. His righteousness. And watch God overflow in your life. Amen. Amen. I just want to thank everybody for joining me this morning. Thank you all for blessing me with your presence this morning. Thank you for uh, inviting other people this morning. Hallelujah. I saw somebody was continually putting names in here. So thank you this morning. Hallelujah. Praise you. The Lord tagging people in. Hallelujah, Miss Lowry. Thank you this morning. But hey, remember, starting Sunday, it's really starting Saturday, um, um, January 1st, Uplift Church 429 will be our, our new church. The phone number for Uplift Church 429 is 561-985-1781. That's how you can get your prayers. If, if you need me to pray for you or whatever, uh, you want to bless the church financially through Zelle, Cash App, uh, not Cash App, we're not using Cash App. Hallelujah. Zelle, Givelify, Tidely, or the phone number is 561-985-1781. That will be our new phone number starting this Saturday. Hallelujah. But I just want you to know I am so grateful for you all joining me, for for though for everybody, whether you just got here or you've been here. Thank you for supporting me. It's been uh next month will be two years that we've been doing this prayer, you know, that we started out. I just I started out a couple of days a week, uh in the morning and the evening, and now it's basically it's five days a week, and I just thank God for this opportunity to be able to do this. And I thank God for your love and for your support. I thank you for inviting other people. That's the biggest thing is always inviting other people, whether you tag them in or tell them about it so that they'll know to our Sunday service or, um, or our online service. Uh, just, I just want to say thank you. It has truly been a great and awesome um, um, journey. Uh, that phone number again is 561 985 one seven eight one. I believe my wife is typing it up to put it in there. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Thank you, Miss Scott. You are blessing as well. <laughs> hallelujah. But truly, I am grateful. Uh, we do have Bible study tonight, and tonight's Bible study is going to be different than what we've uh, done. Uh, we're kind of going to do a little reflection over the whole year. Um, I, I asked the ladies to do something, so tonight, please tune in if you can, seven p.m. Our last Bible study of the year for Peniel Covenant Christian Center. I thank God for Peniel Covenant Christian Center. It has truly been a blessing to me, but God says it's time to change. Change the name. So just like he changed Abram's name, he changed the name of us. Changed the name. He changed our name. So we're going with the flow. We're going to do what God say do. And I would just want to say thank you and I appreciate you. I thank you for your prayers. I, I, I am just so grateful to God to be able to do this because nobody could have told me 15 years ago that I would be here today doing this. Nobody could have told me this when I was a little boy because I would be like, nah, I don't like talking in front of people. I stutter. I get nervous. But look what God has done. Hallelujah. And once again, I thank you for your love, your prayers, your, your support in every area, financial, showing up, your presence. It, it means a lot to me. So with that being said, I want to just say thank you and God bless you and I love you. And I pray that I'll get a chance to meet some of y'all in the new year uh, physically in church. Because I'm going to be honest with you, for the, as the body of Christ, 
we as laborers, we got a lot of work to do. Hallelujah. There's a harvest out there that need to be harvested, but we need workers in the ministry. Hallelujah. And it just don't mean in, in the building. I'm talking about outside, praying, laying hands, speaking, talking about God to get people into the building so their lives will be changed as well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So with that being said, on the behalf of myself, James Wilkinson, the senior pastor of Peniel Covenant Christian Center, my beautiful wife, Pastor Sabrina, our family team, Wilkinson, and the most amazing, anointed, beautiful, is blessed, Holy Ghost filled, fire belt tied, devil stumping, fearfully and wonderfully made. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Devil stumping, anointed, amazing, how committed, skillful lawyer, able, prompt to do, on fire, body of believers on this side of heaven, our Peniel Covenant Christian Center family, and of course you. An amazing, anointed, wonderful, beautiful, is blessed, is best, is Holy Ghost filled, devil stumping, fire belt ties, committed, loyal, skillful, able, prompt to do, on fire, body of believers on this side of heaven, on Facebook Live, praying anywhere, anytime, day or night. Our Penny Hill Covenant Christian Center Facebook Live group family, I love you, God bless you, and I'll see you tonight at 7 p.m. Peace. Glory to God. Hallelujah.